What's up, Hollywire? I'm Diara Silla. What is up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Diara Silla. Diara, thank you so much for coming to the studio again. We have a very important thing to talk about. We're here to set the record straight, hear your side of the story. Fans want to know what has been going on with Diara since Now United. What is happening? Um, what's been going on with me since Now United? So I've been working on different musical projects. I've been recording with different producers, making music, also working on fashion projects as well. Is what you're wearing today one of your fashion projects? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but this is from Miss Circles. Okay, okay. Yes. Well, we have an idea of what the style would be for mm -hmm. the fashion. And in terms of what your solo music would be like, what, what can fans expect from, from that? Fans can expect a lot of different sounds from all over the world. I have international fans from all over the place, so I like to just please them and make music that they can relate to. So there's going to be a lot of African drums, Brazilian funk, just music from all over the place. I love that. I cannot wait to hear it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and so, you know, do, coming out of this, leaving a group, I have to imagine, has to be difficult. So what was that like going through that? And what were the fans hearing about the situation? And what is your truth on the situation? Well, obviously, being the first member in a global pop group and also being the first member to leave out the global pop group can be difficult and I'm not gonna lie it was a difficult process um, the most difficult part of the process was not being able to tell my fans the reason why I left the group because I have signed a non-disclosure contract which makes me not able to speak about it and uh, for three years my fans have been asking me questions about it you know what is the reason why you left and I could not come up with an answer for them mm -hmm. but my fans been really supportive they've been you know helping me with the situation obviously I think they kind of knew the reason why I left which pretty much made a little bit of sense um, they've been doing artwork for me you know promoting my music helping me spread awareness around the world and I love them for that and I can never thank them enough that's wonderful. Well, so because of the non-disclosure agreement, you can't really get more into the specifics mm -hmm. of why you left the group, correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. Got but, it. I mean, you know, there is, there is something that I definitely wanted to clarify for a lot of people. And I think that um, my fans deserve to know why I left the group because ever since I was 15, touring the world and being on social media, they pretty much just been a part of my life, my daily life. And um, when a traumatic situation happens, I think that these people deserve to know at least why I left, even if I don't get into the details. And you can't say anything on why you left? Well, I can't say anything at all, right. but I would try my best to make them understand why I left without calling out anybody personally, because I'm not here to settle a score or call out anyone personally. But you know i would <clears throat> i would definitely love for them to at least have a point of view on why i left what is something that people are saying online that is hurtful that you want to kind of set the record straight and let people know that that's not the situation you know uh some of the fans are you know talking about me being fired from the group um and also some of the members are also talking mm. you know which is pretty hurtful because we all signed a non-disclosure contract meaning we're not allowed to say anything negative from any members at all uh, especially if it's not true so that's that's really hurtful that's definitely hurtful because the fans they're here to support you and and def uh, defend you in any kind but also if they don't know what's going on and people are talking you know they kind of just don't know where to go from there right and the group is still together they still have gone on without you but that was once a part of you i'm sure that that group was like family and friends to you you were together you were united <laughs> literally yeah so to come out of that that has to be really tough i'm not gonna lie um certain members i was really close with certain members and um leaving now kind of just broke our you know friendship and relationship and everything and um, that was painful for sure that was painful because some of the members were so close to me that i invited them out in paris in my home country um, 
and spent a lot of time with them. I was actually spending more time with the group members than my own family because we were touring the world and we're 24 seven together. Mm -hmm. And you know, having those people just stop communication with you and all that can be painful for sure. Um, and the reason why I'm speaking about this is because it's been hurting me for a while, you know? I'm sorry, it's I don't okay. want to mess up this <laughs> makeup. Your makeup, your makeup looks amazing. But you know, you're talking about something that it was it's really true to your heart. It it affected you. I mean, you're talking about a group that was like family to you and now to go through this and, and I, I I also don't wanna push on the trauma. I don't wanna keep talking about something if it's going to if you, if it's if it's, you know, hurtful. So whatever you feel comfortable saying, yeah. tell us, but also there's no pressure here. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I know, I totally understand. It's just that um, I actually am able to speak about this and still able to pronunciate my words because any time I ever tried in the past, I actually could not even process my words, which is making me understand that I'm actually healing from this. Um, There's been multiple situations that happened in a group that made me realize that I wasn't being treated the same as everybody else. Um, there's been three events in particular that happened during my stay in the, in the group that affected me a lot. One of them was me literally blacking out on stage during a performance in Brazil and I was taken to the hospital woke up at the hospital um, and had to stay at the hospital for over a week because they diagnosed me with ulcer and um, anemia from not being hydrated and not eating properly and overworking. So when that happened, they literally just left, kept touring. Um, I was out there without a legal guardian and I was a minor. And I also had to take care of all medical expenses and everything um, which really showed me that these people wasn't here for my best interests. Mm -hmm. And you said there were two other instances with this were, as well? Yeah, there were two other instances, one being, so we arrived in South Korea, mm -hmm. we were still touring, we arrived in South Korea, um, we get to the hotel, I check in the hotel with my passport go to my hotel room with my roommate because we were all obligated to have roommates at the time. The day we were supposed to leave out the hotel, my passport disappeared, gone, lost. I looked everywhere for it, couldn't find it. And um, as soon as they started knocking at my door, like, come out, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta catch the flight, we gotta catch the flight. And I'm like, I can't find my passport the camera started running to the room recording me crying and looking hopelessly for my passport and i literally begged these people to not share this footage but they use it to promote the only episode of the now united tv show where you It doesn't make sense anymore. Like, I don't know where I put my passport and I'm supposed to travel like in two hours. So I, I just want to keep count actually. I don't know, I'm just freaking out actually. Oh my God, yeah. Where it was for the, like from the first day? if I let it here, but I can't even find it. I can't, babe. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to get you on another flight. Okay. Um. Yeah. 
just go. I think you're gonna miss your your flight, so it's okay. Don't worry. We're trying to find this passport just like for you because we're a team. We have to do it. I can't find my passport anymore. Like. <sighs> I think it doesn't make sense anymore because my passport I always keep it on my on my bag and I just can't find it like I don't know for for what reason maybe I just take it off in one moment and I don't know I'm so lost Japan and killing. It's okay. Yeah. You would actually see me. And this is a fact because, like, in multiple episodes of the Now United show, you'd see my fans comment on it asking if I'm on tour with the group because you literally don't even see me in a Now United TV show at all. Um, I would they would record me talking and asking me questions and all these things but it would never show on the TV show mm -hmm. they would cut those parts off and this one time where I'm hopeless looking for my passport crying they used that episode to promote their TV show which is probably one of the episodes that has most of the views actually you know there's if there's anything that I've learned being in LA for five years is that most of people don't like it when you speak up for yourself mm -hmm. especially people in the industry and me doing this interview today might impact my career in the good or in the bad side um, I already know that personally for me I needed this to happen because it's helping me heal you know there's there I know there's girls out there that's been through situations like this and have never found the strength to speak about it and I want to be here for those people and show them that it is possible to talk about things that have hurted you and and just heal from it and that's what I wanted to do today and no matter what impact it has on my career I still want to remind people that I am not a victim I'm an artist and I have amazing projects coming up in the future um, I am doing good things now. I am really happy with my life. I met people that love me genuinely out here. Um, I have friends that I consider as my family now, and I'm really happy for that. I'm happy for you. I cannot wait to see. I know we're going to be talking like a year from now, five years from now, and or you're not going to even have time for us because <laughs> you're going to be so famous. I feel it. Thank you for sharing your story. I really appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you.